Andy Cohen let fans hear from the Bravo head honcho himself, after Brandy Glanville accused him of sexual harassment. The 55-year-old reality television producer issued an apology via X, formerly named Twitter, on Thursday, February 22, in response to a letter the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star's attorney sent in Universal, Warner Brothers and production company Shed Media hours earlier. Glanville's lawyers Brian J. Friedman and Mark Garagos claimed Cohen sent an explicit recording to her in 2022 that allegedly crossed some lines. In his tweet Thursday Cohen explained, the video shows Kate Chastain and I very clearly joking to Brandy. It was absolutely meant in jest, and Brandy's response clearly communicated she was in on the joke. That said it was totally inappropriate and I apologize. Following Cohen's social media statement, a source spoke out in defense of the Real Housewives executive producer, insisting, no one in their right mind would think that anything Andy was saying in that video was meant to be taken seriously. It was very clear that everyone was in on the joke, the insider added. Glanville clearly didn't find the situation funny, however, as her attorneys declared in the letter, Mr. Cohen was Ms. Glanville's boss at the time and exercised complete and total control over her career, describing his alleged actions as an extraordinary abuse of power that left Ms. Glanville feeling trapped and disgusted. Friedman and Garagos claimed their client has been a victim of sexual harassment at Bravo by none other than Andy Cohen. In a video sent by Mr. Cohen to Ms. Glanville in 2022, Mr. Cohen, appearing obviously inebriated, boasted of his intention to sleep with another Bravo star that night while thinking of her and invited her to watch via FaceTime, the former model's lawyers alleged. The letter additionally resurfaced Glanville's infamous scandal surrounding The Real Housewives, Ultimate Girls Trip season she starred in alongside Caroline Manzo. The group of gals went on vacation to Morocco, However, episodes have yet to air after Glanville was asked to leave filming for allegedly trying to kiss Manzo multiple times while groping her off-camera, all without her consent. Glanville has strongly denied the accusations and doubled down on her innocence in the letter about Cohen. The cast spent the day in question drinking alcohol, smoking marijuana, and, at the end of the evening, learning how to belly dance, the document described, recalling a party thrown by production where the two reality stars began dirty dancing. We have heard about a supposed bathroom incident through press leaks, but Shed Media has repeatedly refused to allow Ms. Glanville or her counsel to see the footage in question, there is no truth to any allegations of impropriety, the 51-year-old's attorneys claimed, declaring, Ms. Glanville and Ms. Manzo were never alone together that evening.